Hey everybody, I'm Jelani. And I'm Brooks. And together we are Go Figure Reviews. And for today, we are doing the next to last part of our X-Men 97 reviews. And uh, t today we've got the Cyclops and Jean Grey for X-Men 97. So yeah, you got Cyclops, you got Jean Grey. Uh, we finally got some blast effects for him. Yes. We did, yeah. So, you know, we, we did a review uh, a while back of the uh, slide effects that we gave yeah, like for those. Like so. good as those but right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay that we get them. And we get a, another head for Gene mm -hmm. and all yeah, those other things. Fun, yeah. And we're going to look at the back of these. And, of course, you know, I like to show you the price that we paid yeah. for them. Oh, yeah, that's a weird price for them in the barcode. Mm -hmm. And to show the figures that are in the wave, you know, for that part. And, of course, Jean's got pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Hers is further away. But, you know, barcode, if you want to see the barcode. And the other fun stuff. Yeah, we're going to tear both of these open and uh, talk about them and look at them and, you know, review them. Because, you know, we review stuff here. It is here. the thing that we do. Yeah, it's a go figure reviews. You know, the thing we do. And here we have Gene off the card. And uh, Gene is an interesting because uh, Gene Gray is like my second favorite comic book character of all time. But uh, she was not my originally one of my favorite X-Men of all time hmm. because the animated series turned her into a weak ass. She, she don't do nothing in those. <laughs> like, even when she becomes the Phoenix, the first thing she does is, like, she pay, she thanks. Oh! As you can see, she comes with the ponytail head. She has that thing that they all had back in the day, the mask that goes around the cheeks. and Yeah. It's kind of like a cow, has, but not yeah, a cow. Yeah, it has, like, ear holes and... Yeah. She has the, the ponytail in this one. The ponytail's nice. It can, you can have plenty of uh, movement, so you can have her have it windswept in whichever way you like, or just have it down, your choice. And uh, she's got decent arms. Like I like the, the shoulder pads, of course. Not as big as they were in the originally, but you know, bigger isn't always better. She's got decent arm movement. Double jointed elbows, of course. As, yeah, as we we've come to expect, yeah. yeah, and uh, she's got she has some pretty decent midsection stuff here, but not not the chest. Oddly enough, I think that would have added a little a little bit. But I mean, yeah, you can't complain too yeah. much. I mean, so like, it's fine. Yeah, it's like yeah. this is it's good for, good enough for getting like those flying poses that you want. But and uh, legs, pretty much what you expect. Got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And uh, no boot, but uh, decent ankle pivot as well. So yeah, she looks pretty nice. Um, I really like the, you know, like I say, I'm a fan of the blue and orange onesie costume. So it's good to have another jean that has that. And she also comes with some extras, including an extra head with the non-ponytail hair. And she I like that hair. Yeah, that is yeah, it good. Comes down yeah. A little bit. yeah, it's nice for when you want her to let her hair down. Yeah. And she comes with a couple of hands. And she falls. And she does fall. But uh, she has an open hand for like doing telekinetic stuff, I assume. Another, and another open hand. But oddly enough, no telekinesis effects. Yeah, which you kind of need for like a gene figure. Yeah, like it would be Just nice weird. to have like a little like pink energy or something at least. To go with her. So yeah, she looks pretty nice so far. But uh what's the Jean without a Scott? And of course we have Scott. You know. Yeah. And uh this is the the leader of the X-Men. Field leader. The field leader. Yeah. He's he's the guy that like runs out and does stuff. He's the Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of my favorites, though. I mean, I uh, like Cyclops. I'm not a Cyclops guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've kind of, I've kind of grown around. Like he's grown on me a little bit over the years, like him and Emma Frost a little bit. But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. Yeah, I hear you, man. He's but, a dick. 
He's got his moments, though. Yeah, he's he one of he he he's one of the best Marvel villains we've ever had, but also one of the best Marvel heroes. Of course, so, yeah. Not not, <laughs> but yeah, he's basically the same figure that we reviewed a while back. So, like, he's the VHS version except with a different head. The head looks good. I like oh, it. Man. He looks like happy to be there. Like he's happy to lead the X Men in the field. He's thinking, he's thinking yeah. about Wolverine being dead. He's like, yeah, yeah, that guy. Screw that guy. <laughs> and he, he can look up pretty yeah, good, good, except for his head yeah. pops he need, off. He needs suck off to be able to but, look good. Yeah, he looks good. Like I said, this is the same body mold that when, when we reviewed. He's got butterfly joints. Yeah. This is the same body mold that we were talking about before. It's like, um, what's his name? His brother? His Alex, brother is Havoc. Yeah. yeah. No, no, not Havoc, the other one. Oh yeah, Vulcan. Vulcan. Yeah. His other brother. This is the, the body the mold. Brother. Yeah. This is the body mold that he has. So he, he has an ab crunch, a decent ab crunch, which is kinda hindered by the belt thingy that mm-hmm. he has here. Mm-hmm. He's got the butterfly joints, the arms go out. He's a got total necessary strap across. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect in nineties. He's got double joint elbows. Jelly is a genius. Never question it. He is. He is. He's got hinges in his arms. Goes what? up and down. Looks pretty good. Like he's not holding a gun, but mm-hmm. he should be holding that a gun. Like it, uh, him tapping his visor hand. Kind yeah. Of, and the the little leg things, they, they're they pretty secure. Also totally time. necessary. Yeah. They have a vital function. Perfect. Jim Lee, we do not question. Yeah. But we turn it, and he's got a good thigh cut. He's got good double joint knees. They're pinless nice joints. Yeah, I like the pinless joints. That works out well. And uh, he's got the little things at the bottom for the boots. And he's got a boot cut oh, nice. that turns. Nice. He's got the ankle pivot, which is good. Yeah. And then oh, up and down. And he's got pickles in the bottom of the feet. He's basically, like I said, the same figure that we reviewed a while back. Check that video out that's with good. the slide that's effects. Good. A good yeah, it was. It was awesome. It's the same figure, and but this time we get a cool feature where he has a head where he's like kind of angry, yeah. and it's got the little visor thing. Wolverine. It's like Dick, I hate that guy. He really hates Wolverine, but it also comes with an effect wow. piece. What? Who knew? Who knew? We're gonna stick that in his eyes there, yeah. and it looks pretty cool because he can. Do that with his visor, which they finally gave it to us. I really, I appreciate the fact that they give this to us. Yeah, that's nice. Like, if like of all the figures did not have an effect, like Cyclops would be the most. Cyclops needs an effect. Like yeah, yeah that's a, that's wrong for him never to have one. And of course, he comes with like two fisted hands, and you know, for fisting, for punching. Yeah. They look already. Right. Yeah, fisting and punching. And then he's got the visor. I gotta cl- hit my visor to, yeah, to blast you. And uh, it's not focusing, yeah. but you see it there. It yeah. apparently has some kind of button on the side of his visor. Yeah. yeah he, in does, he, has like, like, he has like a little button on his gloves, too. So you yeah. can do it without tapping the visor. He's yeah. just because he looks cool. Yeah, but I mean the fact they gave us like blast effect with it, I'm really yeah, appreciative that's, that's, of that's, that's it. Good. Yeah, th- this is direction. making up, man. I really appreciate that. And here we have Gene with some jeans and Gene adjacent characters. Um, on the on over here, of course, on the far left we have the uh, House of Powers of whatever. Hawks Box. Yeah, the, the House of Ten and the Powers of X. Uh, Jean Grey in the kind of the classic Marvel girl costume. I hate this costume. I'm going to be real. I, mm-hmm. I don't like it. It sucks. I don't like it. <laughs> but, you know, I do have it because it is Jean. And, you know, I want to have all the Jeans. And uh, next to her, we have the uh, regular Phoenix when she's not dark. So, but it's still not not technically Jean. It's the Phoenix pretending to be Jean. Mm. And uh, next to her, we have the... Uh, Love Triangle 3-pack Jean Grey, my favorite, in the classic blue and orange onesie. And um, next to her, we have the 
It was the Hellfire Club 3-pack Jean Grey. The Black Queen Jean Grey. It's a 4-pack. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was 4. Because it, it, uh, it was Shaw, Pierce, her, and, the, and Emma. And Emma, yeah. yeah. And uh, on the other side, we have the uh, Goblin Queen from this from this wave. And uh, next to her, there's the Dark Phoenix. This was... Um, That's the two-pack Dark Phoenix that yeah. came with uh, Cyclops. Yeah, that yeah. was a Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, she's pretty nice. Yeah. In fact, the head for that Phoenix, for the Phoenix over here, that's the that's in that pack. So, mm. yeah, I love it. Mm. It's awesome. It was hard to get. Is it? Yeah. Is it like, ugh, the, the olden days, the hunt. Yep. The chase. We miss it so. But uh, next to her, we have another Dark Phoenix. This was a... Uh, uh, that's the Toy Biz 2 yeah, pack, that was, actually. Yeah. That came with a, a, a Cyclops with a, a leather vest or leather jacket. And she's got yeah. like cloth leggings for some reason. Yeah. And, uh, of course, next to her, we have the uh, the first Legends Jean Grey uh, Phoenix, which uh, she's pretty good, you know, uh, mm -hmm. all things considered. Like, I, I don't want to say she's the best Jean, but she's pretty, pretty nice. And in the back, we have the Marvel Select Jean Grey from the uh, Grant Morrison. That's I right. The new X-Men. Yeah, the, the very end where she's from the future or whatever. Because Grant Morrison has got... Yeah, they had two the versions one. of that select stuff. version. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like, they're both pretty cool. Like, you know, I kind of I kind of like the uh, the fiery version a little more, but they're both pretty cool. So, yeah, that's, uh, you think you got enough jeans, man? No, yeah, man, we need some more jeans. You can never have enough jeans. Jeans! Here we have a whole bunch of Cyclops. Mm. Um, Cyclops is one of my favorite X-Men, if you couldn't tell. There was hell. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, we're going to go over these real quick. This is the toy. The first offering is the Toy Biz Cyclops. And I have sad clops, I call them. Yeah, he's so <laughs> sad. Like he's been listening to Tears for Fears all day. Yeah, he has. He has. He's learned a lot from it. Yeah. And uh, everybody wants to rule the world. You got to shout, shout, let it around. That too, yeah. And this is the, or beside him is the two-pack uh, Cyclops that came with the Dark Phoenix. He has the di one of the different heads. I, I like him a lot. And this is also a two-pack Cyclops. Comes with the Dark Phoenix as well. It's like it was a mirror of the yeah. two. And uh, this is our first offering Cyclops. This is the one we got. It's a Build-A-Figure wave. Can't remember which one. Uh, I put the jacket from this figure on that one. It looks pretty good for me. Yeah, yeah I like it. And then this one is the uh, Age of Apocalypse Cyclops. Everyone hates this figure because it's just so plain and boring. And yeah. he, he's Cyclops and it's this Bucky like Cap. Cyclops. Yeah, he is. Burn. Yeah, he got hurt. Not like Cyclops' optic blast because they don't generate heat. Yeah, it doesn't. Which is weird it's, because he, he welds stuff sometimes. Yeah, it, but it's a force blast. I yeah. don't know, from a different dimension. It depends on who's riding at the time. True story, yeah. And then, of course, this one on this side is actually the same as the one we're talking about. It's just cell shaded. That's the VHS version that we reviewed earlier. This is our second highest video that mm. we've ever uh, produced here at Go Figure Review. So check that one out. That comes with slide effects. Mm. Um, it's the same figure, like I said, with, with cell shading. And then, uh, of course, we've got evil villain Cyclops. He's got a custom head there, yeah, the Phoenix Thanks. Force. Phoenix will just take anyone. Yeah, he's awesome. I think that's the best Marvel villain they've ever had. Like, if you're gonna make a villain, make it make it Phoenix Force, mm -hmm. Cyclops. He he was pretty cool. But like he was, he was yeah. Like he had to share his power with five other, or four other guys. Though. Yeah, it happens though. You know what you're gonna do. And then of course we got the House of X, um, Cyclops there. He's got his blast effect, but it's the same blast effect as the other blast yeah. effects that we've shown. Yeah, they're all pretty yeah. Much the same. They're they same thing. Like slightly different uh, coloring. Yeah, and then we've got uh, down here the Marvel Universe Astonishing X Men Cyclops. Um, just wanted to show him off. He's tiny, yeah. tiny guy. Little guy. Yeah, and then we've got the X Factor 
Cyclops. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I like that one too. He's he's pretty angry in that one too. But yeah. Churn. You got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, she does though. She she's got a lot. So all in all, I think these two are pretty good. Like uh not exceptional, but they do have some definite pluses, especially Cyclops coming with the blast effects. And um you know, it's like I said, like I've said this like over and over again. I feel like I'm like repeating myself, but these things are just shy of being like perfect for me. But uh, here at uh, Go Figure Woos, we give figure points to figures who are worthy of receiving them. And uh, Jelani, what? Well, how many figure points would you give these two? Well, I mean, since we're writing them together, I'm I'm gonna give them a four. Um, together. Other than that, they're pretty subpar. Like, I agree. These are fours. Like, I've, I've been giving a lot of these fours because, like, you know, they fall just short of, of perfection for me. Because they are very nice figures, and I do like them. But, you know, the price, they're too hot. They're too pricey, for one. Yeah. And they don't come with enough extras for two. So, yeah, like, you know, they are good. And, like, you know, it's a nice collection. Like, I'm, I'm probably, I'm going to try and collect them all if I can. But, you know, I wouldn't say they would be, like, necessary, you know. They're yeah. not, like, vital. But, you know, uh, who cares what we think? We're dumb. We're idiots. Yeah. We what do you so. guys think? Like, write it in the comments or whatever you weird YouTube guys do. Well, I mean, I'm on the talk. I'm weird YouTube guys, well. But uh, let us know what you think. And, um, you know, like and the subscribe and all of the YouTube stuff. And, um... Most importantly of all, you have to get out there and go figure! figure.